How's it going everybody? Welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna get the Jeep running and there's the new cooling fan for it. I know I had somebody comment in my video, the last video I did, about the issues that, oh, it's a factory recall, this and that. I understand, but first is it's still gonna be a Jeep part. This is a aftermarket part, so hopefully better quality because there's already an issue with the Jeep. Plus, not that expensive, and it's a video. So we're gonna do, we're gonna try to do a very good detailed um, video on changing this fan out. I have no clue how to do it, so I guess let's just get started. First thing we'll do is, you know, open the box, and then we will And then we will figure out how to do it. So, it'd be nice if there was instructions in here, but I'm not gonna hold my breath for that one. There it is. Looks just like the original. There's a plug there and a plug there. And plug there, plug there. All right, so two plugs, two plugs. And hey, this one already is better because it actually works. And there's no shake on it. So now it's just figuring out how this thing is. I mean, it looks like there's, you know, like clips here kind of like it just slides down in maybe it bolts right there I don't know all right so there's so I was hoping maybe there was a bolt hole or a bolt right there there's not so but there's the clip and or power and there's the power All right, I think there looks like there's this right here. And then you can see like it just sits in there. So hopefully there's another one I think over there. So if, so if those two come out, then hopefully the fan should just unplug and come right out. So let's get a screwdriver and get the two um, plugs off and then try to get them brackets off the top. All right, so I think this bracket right here. Nope. That's radiator coolant shit. Please don't say I gotta take this whole front piece apart. All right, let's go ahead and get the, the wires off. What we'll do with that? We'll start with that, that's easy. Hmm, hopefully. Alright, so there's a yellow locking clip. Get that out, and then it's just like the normal ones that you just press and they come right out. Alright, we need to get a wire cutter. Because there's a zip tie. the top one now the bottom one all 
All right, that needs to come unplugged because it didn't actually just come unplugged. It kind of snapped off the fan. that piece all right there we go now we got both wires off the fan now I don't see anything holding this on except there's you know like where it's pushed into these that's all I see holding it I don't see like no bolts nothing like that it's just like where it's these slip into clips and just hold it in that's all I see that off right there that's the air conditioner line so the air conditioner this hole right here the air conditioner line is on this hole right here with a clip so I need to get that out don't know how that's on but it's in there looks like fun there's nothing on the the passenger side there's nothing attaching to the fan I think all that's left is the air conditioner line right there I'm gonna use like a, a door panel you know thing because it's kind of the style that's there. Just love how this is all compact in here. Alright, I think I can just unclip this and then we'll pull it out once the fan's out. I think that undid it. Yeah. yeah. There's another zip tie. Alright, there's the wire harness out of the way. There's the air conditioner lines out of the way. All I can say now is let's just give it a yank and see if it comes out. Well, it moved. I think it broke, but hey. Don't know what broke. I actually think there's a, a clip on the top bracket that holds it in. It actually locks it in there. Let's see if I can pry that out. Yeah, that's like not coming out. All right. I'm just gonna grab it and yank it again. I'm putting gloves on there. That shit hurt my hands.
Well, I will tell you, it took me a long time to get that out. I don't know if you have to take this front off because it is like bolted in. But I managed to get all the clips off of it, then push the driver's side down. There's a little bit of a, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but down into this area get it pushed down into there you can kind of see the scratches right there and then this side you can shimmy it up and get both of the little clips through here i did have to take off the um heat shielding for the exhaust because without with that still on it would not come out so there are the two old one new one so i mean they're identical I, this one is missing out of that one <laughs> it's because i broke it but i mean you know there's the two fitting or the, the two wire harnesses there's the two i mean here's the you see how it shakes oops and then you got this one Spins nice and free. So now is going to be the chore of getting it back in. And that's the thing is these, the bottom ones, they just sit in. Then the top ones, there's an actual little clip. You see the green right there? You push that in and then it clips it in and locks it in. But the bottom, which you can't see the bottom on that because of the hose. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But the bottom right there just sits in there. Then the top clips. Alright. Well, now let's go ahead and try to get this new one finessed in there real quick. Of course it went in easier than it came out. I guess that's a good thing. Now I just need to get it into those little tab areas so that'll lock this thing in. Of course the one on this side you just can't freaking see. close. I don't want to press too hard and break it. I mean, this thing is plastic. There it went. I don't know if you could hear it. It was a real slight click. But it's in there now. Alright, next I got to get this in. Because this is what holds the air conditioner line. So this clips into the fan shroud right here. Then both air conditioner lines go through there. Now I just got to get that piece clicked back together. I 
All right, there we go. Holding the air conditioner lines together. Now, two wires together. Hopefully they're specific, because I didn't really pay attention to which one came out of which. Guess I should have done that one. Hmm. Like I said, they make this stuff like really compact in here. These things came in and out. Okay, next is getting the exhaust manifold back on. It was only so you got three bolts across the top for you know three nuts so there was three across the front on the top right there then there was two on the bottom that went in like that and i mean they're all 10 millimeter so it's nothing major now I'll get this slid back in take the motor cover off that way I can see better that's old piece oh, I dropped one of my nuts I think it's the first time I've ever taken this motor cover off Of course, the last one stuck. <laughs> All right. Well, like I say, there's the three across the top, and then you got one right there and one on the other side. Putting, you know, sometimes I don't put the this back on, but since it's so close to the fan, I mean, the exhaust is like literally two inches away from the fan, so I'm definitely gonna put it back on just because it's that dang close. And the um, O2 sensor was um, 7 8 And of course, the only 7 8 I have is the one that I had to modify to work on the Suburban a long time ago. So it was a little bit of a pain in the butt using my modified wrench, but it, it still worked. I had a ratchet wrench for this dang on 10 millimeter down there. 
it's so tight. There it is, all put together. Fans in. O2 sensors back on. Fan shroud or heat shields back on. So everything is back the way it's supposed to be. So let's go ahead. We'll start it up and I've managed to cut myself. Well, let's start it up first and then let it warm up and see how it goes. All right. Let's go ahead and change this over to temperature. There it is. So it's on temperature right now. It is 91 degrees on the motor. So let's go ahead, let it set, let it run, let it get heated up. Make sure everything, excuse me, make sure everything works. So it's kind of hard to see, but the fan is running right now. And it's perfect. I mean, oh, now it's shut off. Well, that's good. So I guess it's up to temperature. So that means motor got the temperature, fan came on, cooled itself off, got down to a good temp, fan shut back off. That's good. So I hope this was informative for changing the fan out. Because I know there's people out there that don't want to spend the probably hundreds of hundreds of dollars that it costs to switch that fan out if it goes bad. I got the fan from Rock Auto delivered to my house for 80 bucks. And I don't know, hour of my time. I think that's a lot better than taking it to the Jeep dealership, wasting all day there, and hundreds of dollars. So, hope this works for everybody that's watching. Like, subscribe, comment. See you in the next video.